Hello, hello again mga kagako sa Itachi. For today, um, mag-shy away muna tayo sa grammar part. But this time, I'm going to focus my session for the Nihon no Seikatsu tips or mga tips sa buhay sa Japan. Okay? So, meron tayong portion na ganito para, para dun sa mga um, willing makinig at willing na um, matutunan ano nga ba or ano, mga, ano ba yung mga bagay na dapat natin um, paghandaan no, before we go to Japan. So, magde-devote tayo lagi ng no, ilang minuto na no, session para sa Nihon no Seikatsu Tips. Now, are you ready guys? Okay, so let's delve or let's dive in into the first topic which is uniforms. Okay, so um, basically Japan is a um, homogeneous country wherein they think the same, they even move the same, and they really quite obvious. Now, when they when it comes to clothing, all right, so pare-pareho din sila. Even though they have four types of seasons, no, kahit pa paano, um, pare-pareho pa rin ang kanilang design, no, in different occasions, okay? Now, when it comes to seifuku or uniforms, so normally, um, sa Japan, ang bawat company, um binibigyan sila ng pagkakataon to wear same uniform. Okay, sabi dito, work uniforms help also help people to tell the difference between company staff and outsiders immediately. So that's imperative, that's very important. That's why if you are planning to go to Japan and work there, expect to have a uniform kasi it's a sign of homogeneity, no? Ibig sabihin, um alam nila na na ikaw ay worker or staff ka at ikaw ay na, na uh, hihiwalay no na identify no versus sa outsiders okay so in the example as you can see lahat sila ay naka red t-shirt okay they might differ when it comes to their uh, color of the hats maybe because meron silang mga designation doon but however no yung kanilang uniforms are the same in red okay aside from that uniforms can help people in the company to feel more together okay so parang um, kapag ikaw ay belong sa isang grupo or isang community, you feel secured, no? Tama ba? So that's why yung uniform, ito yung nagbabind sa kanila to have that sense of belongingness. Okay? Now, um, even when there are no uniforms, kung meron man, employees are sometimes expected to dress in a certain way in some industries or companies. No? Naniniwala ang mga Japanese na um, well-dressed is always equated to well-mannered. So, um magdamit ka maguniform ka ng ayon no sa nararapat okay so there's an unspoken understanding that employees in a financial company should dress in a similar way syempre if you're a teacher in Japan you will be dressing up the same way so if you're if you're a company employee in particularly for for yung mga salaried workers nila so Basically, you have the same uh, uniforms. Okay? So in Japanese society, people may sometimes be required to dress alike instead of dressing in a unique and individual way. So ayaw natin na nag stand out tayo kasi nga homogeneous ang society nila. Okay? So if you'll be working in Japan, so please take note of that important notice. Okay, next, tea is part of their culture. And tea is called ocha. Ocha. So specifically, it can mean green tea, but broadly or in general, tea is like tea ceremony. Okay, so there are different types of tea in Japan. So depende sa preference mo. For example, if you prefer black tea, so that is kocha. Kocha is black tea, and this is a fermented tea. Kaya medyo maasim, may may asim no paggaganon. It's fermented, no. And it is a type of tea that people normally drink outside Japan. So most of the Japanese kasi must prefer nila ang green tea, which is ocha. Next, meron din silang barley tea or mugicha. Okay, mugicha can be enjoyed during summer and winter. So depende sa iyo because it can be cold, it can also be warm or hot. And most of the restaurants serve barley tea for free instead of water. 
Okay, now if mahilig ka sa powdered green tea, we call it matcha. All right, matcha powdered green tea. And this is tea leaf powder. And it is used in tea ceremony. Yeah, in addition to drinking it as tea, it is also a popular ingredient for sweets like cakes, chocolates, and ice cream. Okay, so sa medyo um, um, malakas, matapang ano, ang powdered green tea or ang matcha. So that's why it goes along with cakes, chocolates, and ice cream. So parang inom kain ng cake or chocolate. And then one of the one one of the popular um, teas then is the oolong tea or the oolong cha, which is came from China. Hindi siya masadong maasim kasi it's half fermented lang, so it's brown in color and has a unique but bitter taste. So that is oolong tea. And bukod to on there are also different types or brands of tea like Santori. They also have um, soken no soken bicha. Okay, and then the jurukucha. So, wag kayo magugulat na pag bumili kayo ng mga ganitong tea, they do not have sugar. So, that's why they're not sweet. Unlike here in the Philippines, no, na ang ating mga bottled tea, ina-expect mo na dapat down to your throat, matami siya. Pero actually, sa Japan ay hindi. But they can go well with food like rice balls and lunch boxes. Okay, I hope may tatutunan kayo about uniforms and different type of teas in Japan. Okay, more of our Nihon no Seikatsu in our next session. Okay, bye-bye, Nina. Matane!